Welcome back. It is uh, nice to know that you're still watching. Uh, we told you that when we return, we're going to be having a conversation around the women in politics in Nigeria. Uh, there's been a lot of conversations worldwide about equality between men and women and you know under international standards both men and women should have equal rights and opportunities to everything most especially to participate fully in all aspects and at all levels of political processes uh, globally women con uh, constitute over half of the world's population and contribute in vital ways to societal development generally in Nigeria, politics is presumed to be a man's turf. Uh, this is an unspoken slogan which has played over the years as we witness low participation of women in mainstream politics. Uh, joining us to have this conversation is Barista Juliet Isi Kayere. Uh, she's the ADC House of Representatives candidate at, uh, for AMAC and Buari Federal Constituency Abuja. Hello and welcome. All right. Um, I, I hope that clears up while we continue. But quickly, because uh, how, how would you describe women participation in politics in Nigeria? How would you describe women participation in politics in Nigeria as of today? Oh, yes, it's been a tough uh, one because over time we've had a number of women that it's to in the types of women because of it. Saying we have a universe of women contributing at the table. All right, uh, I think the yeah, Paris's audio is really yeah. poor. Uh, I would have wanted to hear what she has to say about you know participation of women in politics. But what's your perception about you know this particular issue? Yeah. Go. First of all, um, if we are able to rejoin her with a better audio, we'll bring her back. But for now, uh, it's we can't get anything from here. But women in politics, mm. um, I think most of the problem of the participation of women in politics is on the women themselves. A, a lot of them, a lot of them think that it should be just a, a matter of handout to them, um, mm. and then a lot other ones do not even want to support the women folk. Maybe because the men who are involved in the politics have more money to spend. Maybe because of uh, one thing or the other, they don't want to support the the women themselves. That is on the one hand, and the this sec thirdly, I would like to say that. Uh, what really I see as a problem for the women is their, their modus operandi oh. in the political circles. For instance, you expect a very intelligent married woman, for instance, to be attending only night meetings of 2 a.m. all the time. Because no matter how we see it, as small as that is, it affects the home. And whether a man brags anyhow, the woman is still in charge of the home, whether we like it mm. or not. She is the one that brings <laughs> order to the house. She is the one that brings order even to the husband and okay. all that. So <clears throat> when you now begin to do things that will not favor the woman, so many times they will now resort to sitting back and saying, okay, whatever can be given to me by way of percentage, by way of zoning, by way of handouts and all that. Mm. But I think... I think the, the, the political situation in the country couldn't have been that bad that women do not want to participate. But like you said, people have the perception that it's a man's stuff. Mm -hmm. So when we are going there, we are just going to compete with the men, not knowing that they have the, the same rights as the men and they should take, it, take the bull by the horn as it is because it is there. But is it really, is it really a matter of knowledge and acknowledgement of the knowledge because you just said they do not know that they have the same rights as the men 
No, they do, not, it, they do not think. Is it really? A lot of them do not think that they have the same. Is rights. it really the same? Because uh, I mean, look at the itinerary, and a, a regular, very regular day for a married woman, mm -hmm. and a very regular day for a married man. Yeah. Do you think these two persons have a level playing ground, the same equal opportunities to participate and play politics to its yeah. core? You see. I pointed that thing out. That, that's one of the things that give me concern. Because if you want someone who is really intelligent that could have contributed, just because the way of the way that you operate, mm. it gives that person a disadvantage. So they should find some kind of level playing ground. But you see, on that is on one hand. But on the other hand, if you see like the last election or last nomination when people were buying forms and all that, some parties give their female intending candidates or, or, or aspirants Mm. forms for free and they ask them to come and get it for free or they reduce the price to like half or less than half so that women can participate as well but there were still no women that were coming for to participate mm. so while we blame the the system <laughs> while we blame political parties and the system mm. we also have to blame the women as well so everybody has a a a a, a blame so to speak then some women are not deliberate about preparation to become office holders the way they should become office holders. Do they have what it takes to be that deliberate? Well, I, I don't know what you mean by being deliberate, uh, what it takes, because a lot of them, some women actually have more money than the men who have contested. The society has, you know, naturally made these women disadvantaged. In what way? Okay, look Apart at, from what I've pointed look out. Look at the place of misogyny. The fact that a woman even has it in her mind that she wants to do politics. A lot of men, even in her same political party, are looking at her like, this one doesn't know she's a woman. No. Okay. You get? So okay. you, have, you have the place of misogyny. I think it's a total societal reset that we need to do to get I, to that point. I think it's just defeatist on the, on the part of the person who feels that because the society says this, mm -hmm. well, that is true about me. Because if the man says, look at this one, she doesn't know that he's a woman. That She's is woman. in words. Mm -hmm. It is apart from the Very actual, good. it is apart from the point of acting it out and you know. Okay, but good. If you're going into a political space and you know that. Sorry to cut you short, Nyamgo. Let us say party ABC mm -hmm. has uh, a woman aspirant. Yeah. And this person, let me take it up to the point where she has actually been to the primaries mm -hmm. and she has, you know, emerged as a candidate. As a candidate. You know this person is a woman. How, have, how does your party come together to give her the support that she needs? That is when you see factions up and down, here and there. That is when you will see people being aggrieved. That is when you would that is when you would know that you had money to support women. So you go and rally other women against this woman. So you see, so you see you see it's it's not an individual thing. It's a it's a collection. It's a I, much as I would like to agree mm -hmm. with what you're saying, I will deviate a little bit. You have gone into the primaries, you've won, mm -hmm. and you are now a candidate. Now, it is like you want to go into the army. And they say, to become an army person, you will have to carry a gun, and you will have to go into battle. If you are a woman, you should be ready to face Let battle. Let me ask you a question. Because if what it takes to remain there is to pull a lot of people down, is to fight on the inside the ring okay. and everything. If you're not ready to do it, then you're not qualified. And that's what I, I feel as a Let person. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, what ward are you from in your local government? The ward I am from yes. in my ward one, the Kaju ward one okay. in my local government. So there is, let's say there are two candidates, yeah. a woman who is qualified, you know mm -hmm. she has all the qualities. Yes. The man too does. Mm -hmm. Who would you vote for? I would vote for the person who shows that he can endure you are just yes. See, you're giving me political no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen to what i'm telling you <laughs> listen to what i'm telling you we have reached we have arrived at a, a point where both of them are qualified right so it's now for them to prove to us it's now for them to prove to us that i can stand mm. and then you are the woman maybe you have a hundred thousand to spend the man has a hundred thousand to spend and you think 
it's because I'm a woman, they should give, me, give it to me. It's a lie. People will go to the person that they see as shown walking. So I'm not trying to say the political, um, the political uh, system or the political uh, uh, whatever it is, terrain, favors a woman or does not favor a woman. There are things that can be done deri deliberately to give the woman a, a level playing field. But beyond that, it is left for the woman so to prove it. you don't think the women have the political will to step out and play politics as it should be? Is that a what of, you're saying? A lot of them have, but a lot of them also do not have. And then their problem will not even be because right. they are women. You're not picking no, a hustle. You listen, need to pick a hustle. Listen, <laughs> the, their problem is not even because they are women, uh -huh. but because the women folk themselves will not even support them. So when you're talking, you're talking and blaming the men, like it's the men uh -huh. that make them look like they're women. How many women support women politicians? Uh -huh. Anywhere you're from, tell me how many women have won because the women supported them. So we should add it to the list of changes we need to make. Is that what so you're saying? Change, like you said, change the mind, a mindset has to be changed. Uh -huh. But the women themselves have to change their mindset that we can do this. Whether the men give us or not, we can do it. This is a conversation we definitely need to have. Yeah. I am hoping that maybe tomorrow or some other time we'll be able to have uh, Barrister EC actually have this conversation with us because it is something that is very important but is rarely talked about. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I I'm agree. hoping that we will be able to bring her, you know, to continue this conversation. But this is where we draw the curtain on today's edition of The Run-Up. It will return, but it will be tomorrow at 11 a.m. My name is Uchechuku. Another. We hope that you are going to be there to join us as well. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. Bye for now.